Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I'm going to show you a new phone from Crestron. It's the UC P8-T. It's a name that rolls off the tongue. I assure you the phone itself is much better than the name. So this is a brand new phone from Crestron based on their new screen technology. Crestron is famous for using the same screen for multiple devices. Utilizing the same screen just means that they can get more use out of it and actually put it into its own housing to make it do some something new. So this phone was only certified by Microsoft a couple of weeks ago. There was a webinar from Crestron to show this phone, but also the next phone in this range, which has video built in. So this will be a video phone, and I believe in the future it will also convert to a Teams display. But for now, I've got it in the phone configuration, and I'll kind of walk you through it. Again, Crestron has gone down the road of no physical buttons. That's a trend that's been adopted by a lot of vendors. So the interface itself is not unlike the Teams UI uh, anywhere else, but you'll note the screen is absolutely enormous. It's covered in glass. It's very shiny. You've got this big black surround. It kind of looks like you should have video built in here, but there's nothing up there. It's just the screen UI, I assure you. And then you've got these soft keys down here. Along the side of the, the phone itself, you've actually got a handset stand. And then if you lift that, you've got a giant speaker. So of course you can use this in hands-free speaker mode. Um, the speaker itself is there. The microphones, I believe, are down here. This port down here is actually an ambient light sensor. Uh, it will actually sense whether there's anybody in proximity and know that the room itself or the desk that it sits on is occupied. Now, just to show you the more characteristics of the phone itself, if I switch, swing it around to the side, you can see it's just a phone on an L-shaped bracket. So this is a metal stand that kind of uh, butts up against it and So again, everything is touchscreen. You've got the notifications area here that shows you what you've got going on. You can see I've got a voicemail in the diary. I can press clear to, to clear that down. I can get at the calls app, the calendar, the voicemail, and of course the contacts and people tab. I've got the avatar of the user themselves up here. And of course that brings up that familiar side menu where I can set my status, my status message. I can connect to a desk phone using that better together experience get at hot desk in and of course the settings. So if I press that to uh, to come out, you can see the phone itself is very responsive. Uh, a mere second later and it goes into what I actually want. Down the bottom here, you've got some dedicated keys. These are soft kind of virtual keys. They're not physical tactile buttons, but it's actually got that, that dedicated Teams button that seems to be the trend for all the Teams dedicated devices. The Teams button is showing up on speaker pucks. It's showing up on headsets. Of course, desk phones from pretty much every vendor and Crestron is no different. The Teams button is of course contextual. So if you've got a meeting started, um, you can actually press the Teams button and it will actually join. Next to the Teams button, you've got a headset button that answers the call on headset if you've got the headset plugged in. It's also got built-in Bluetooth, so you can answer the call on Bluetooth that way. Now you can see here that I've actually, this meeting here is just highlighted because it's now time to join. I'll come back to that in a second though. Next to the headset button, you've got a speakerphone button. So you can actually press speakerphone and that will actually start uh, the dial pad experience and let you choose. Or if you're going to answer the call on speakerphone, you can do it that way. Volume up and down and of course a mute button there. So the phone itself actually has another party piece. So apart from being a phone and being able to join calls, this large screen should give you a little clue. So I'm going to go ahead and join this meeting, which is now in progress. So if I press the join button there. All right, so now I've joined. I've joined on mute because that's the way I've actually set the meeting. But as you can see, I've actually got the presentation from the meeting, the screen share from the meeting actually in 
the on the screen itself so this is great if you're just joining a webinar some sort of training where somebody is presenting a powerpoint deck or something it's nice and big nice and clear it means you can actually see what's going on in that meeting so if you just want to listen on speakerphone or maybe use your headset that's that's connected you can get on with multitasking while you watch the presentation again if you need to pay attention don't multitask but it means you can actually watch that webinar while you actually utilize your pc this nice big screen lets you do that of course, you can get out the additional controls. You can mute and change your volume. You can add more users and actually get at the participant list. You can hang up, of course. You can also put the call on hold, turn on live captions, raise your hand and get at the dial pad. But down here, I can also see the control bar underneath the presentation. You can see this is slide one of 31. And if I take control, it pops up a message to say, are you sure you want to take control? and I can actually take over the presentation. So I can now advance through the slides. Again, nice and quick to get through the slides. I'm just gonna go back to the home slide there, and I'm sure you get the idea. So again, this has been the UCP8-T from Crestron. I think it's the nicest looking Teams phone of all of the Teams phones from all the vendors right now. It's definitely got a premium feel, that kind of glass front, um, very premium plastic and metal. It's got a, a solid base. It's heavy. It's probably the heaviest phone I've felt in a long time. It's got this nice big screen to take advantage of so you can see the presentation, but also you can get at the video gallery, that kind of thing. And the next model uh, will up the game even more with built-in video. It means you can use this as a dedicated video calling platform, maybe for phone booths or even just a normal desk. It's definitely at the executive end of the Teams desk phone range, and if I had one of these on my desk, I had I would know that I'd arrived. This nice big screen means you can take advantage of more than just the calling experience. You can also join meetings and actually see the presentation, or even if you wanted to take control and advance and, and rewind through the slides. It means it keeps your desktop free for multitasking or getting on with some other stuff, maybe chatting or moderation, that kind of thing. Again, the lack of physical buttons might be off-putting to some, but I think it more than makes up for it with the features themselves. If you do want to get out that dial pad experience, you just press calls and you've got the dial pad there. So you can tap in that phone number and just press call to actually place that call. In terms of the management experience for the Crestron phones, as I said, you can use the UI itself to get out the settings underneath. It does have a built-in web user interface that's not unlike any other Crestron device, the same menu structure, the same uh, familiar uh, tabs and that kind of thing, and it lets you get out lots of settings underneath. You can upgrade the firmware, get at some, some of the logs, and actually just change individual settings. And just like every Crestron device, this is also manageable by the XIO Cloud. If you don't know what the XIO Cloud is, I'll show you that on another video. With the XIO Cloud, you can do things like remote control to the phone itself. You can get at all of the settings that are in the web UI and change anything you want. You can upgrade the firmware, get at logs, reboot, uh, and, and so forth and so on. Right, in terms of the management experience, it's just like any other Teams phone. You can get out the settings from the main menu and actually get at other uh, settings here. It's also got a built-in web user interface that's just the same as every other Crestron device, whether it's the Teams panels, their uh, Microsoft Teams rooms, the same menu structure, the same tabs. It should be familiar to anybody that knows Crestron. Over and above that, of course, you've got the Teams Admin Center to let you get at certain settings, upgrade firmware, get at logs, and reboot the phone, them, uh, phone itself. And Crestron, of course, has got their XIO Cloud. If you don't know what the XIO Cloud is, I'll show you in another video. This, just like every Crestron device, is manageable from the XIO Cloud. You can get at all the settings that are in, available in the actual web UI from any location remotely. You can even remote control the phone directly from the XO Cloud interface, and it means you can do that remote diagnostics when the person that you need isn't on site. You can answer a call that you make or actually place a test call and gather logs while you're doing so. So again, this has been the UCP8T from Crestron. It's the new Teams phone. It's only freshly certified. And that's all I've got to say for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.